So I'll use a triple Venn diagram to um, explain how to go about doing this problem. So we have three categories. I'm going to call U for the user-friendly. That circle is 56% of all respondents. We have a total of 1,200. Then we have the fast response time, which is 48%, and then bargain prices, that's 42%. So that's the most general case, and um, they don't tell us that if everyone gave some response, so uh, we'll deal with that as I put more structure. So they tell us that the... 30% of the respondents cited both user-friendly and fast response time. So that's going to be this region here. That we know is 30%. And the question is to maximize this region here, which is who cited bargain prices, but neither user-friendly nor the fast response time. So we're looking at this region, meaning bargain prices only. So this is what we need to maximize. So that means... The other regions, we want to make them as, as small as possible. So this is zero. I want to make that zero too. Make that zero so that the number of uh, respondents here would be maximized. Um, and we know that this is 30%. So if we just look at these two circles, ignore this for the moment, then user-friendly alone would be then 26%. And then... Uh, fast response time would be 48 minus 30 or 18 percent. And to maximize this region, I've already made these conditions here, zero, zero. So under these conditions, I just have to figure out how many are in those two circles, which you can also do it by adding 56 and 48 and subtracting the overlap, or I always do it this way. That whole thing is 56, and then... Um, Fast response time is 18 only, so 15, 56 plus 18, 74%, which is what you will get here as well. It's really the same approach. So that means 74% are here, so the maximum I can have here are out of remaining out of 100 would be, sorry, not 24, 26%, my calculation mistake. So this would be 100 minus 74. So 26% is the maximum that I can put in the people who cited bargain prices, but neither user-friendly nor fast response time. So all I have to do is to find 26% of 1,200, which would be 26 times 12. And uh, let's just make sure, 11312, which is answer choice A.